Guys, I failed. I failed. Uh, there's really no other way to put it. I did an experiment to test how effective and noticeable and obvious Atmos is, and I failed. So I made a video about it. I almost didn't post the video, but in the end, I, I was like, ah, no, nah, I made the video. I put my family through it. I'm going to go ahead and post it. So I uploaded it. And a lot of people reached out. A lot of people responded and offered their feedback, which is what I was hoping because that, that's what pushed me over to, to post the video was I was like, I'm curious to hear what other people have to think about this. And a lot of you responded and I got a lot of really great feedback and it was wonderful. And I really enjoyed the conversations that I had. Um, so if you haven't seen that video, definitely go check it out. I will put a link right here. Click on this little black box up here and go watch the video. And then at the end of that video, there will be a card that you can click on that will bring you back to this video. So other, go do that now, because if you just watch this video right now without having seen the first one, yeah, it'll be good, but you'll miss a lot. So click it, watch that video, and then come right back. And if you don't see the black link, the black bar link, uh, I will put a link in the description box of this video and same with the other video. So you can come right back to this one. Okay. So now I'm assuming at this point, everybody has seen the previous video, but to recap, what I did was I got my family to watch four movie clips twice each, once with the height speakers enabled, once without the height speakers enabled. And their job was to determine which was which, which clip had sound coming from the height speakers. And in the end, they got them right down the middle, 50% right. So basically no better than a coin toss. And I was feeling a little, I, I don't know. I don't know if I was feeling down. I, I guess, I guess I just had on my mind that it, that it would be more obvious than that. And at one point my, my daughter said, Oh, dad's soul is breaking because <laughs> they were just not getting them right. Um, but, uh, after posting the video and having a lot of awesome feedback. You guys are great, by the way. I, I really enjoy it. Th th this is why I started this channel, uh, was to, uh, have access to, to other people who love home theater as much as I do and, and enjoy it as much as I do. And so thank you for, for reaching out and offering your feedback. It's, it's been awesome. Um, but so now I, that I've had a couple days to think about it, I've come up with five reasons why my test failed. And, and I call it a failure because, I wanted to, I, I wanted confirmation that Atmos is worth it. I wanted confirmation that it is that dramatic of a difference over not having height speakers. And I, I didn't get that. Um, but I've come up with five reasons why basically my test was flawed. <laughs> uh, and so we're going to start with the very first reason. And the very first reason is I think I selected the wrong movie clips. And, and what keyed me into this was the third clip, which was the arrow scene in the movie 300, where all of these arrows are raining down on these guys and they're holding up their shields and the arrows are just pummeling them from above. And all three members of my family, no question, confidently chose the correct clip on that. Like there was no question. They, they knew exactly which one the sounds were coming from the height speakers and the others they had issues with specifically midway. Uh, my wife pointed out, she's like, there's just so much sound coming from every direction. It's hard to pinpoint, you know, is that sound coming from overhead or is it coming from the side? It was just, it was just hard to tell the difference because there was so much sound. And so I think to do a fair test, what I should have had done was choose movie clips where where the height speakers are really utilized in a better, not in a better way. Cause like midway they're utilized. Well, I think because you want that cacophony of sound all the way around you. Um, but, but I think there are examples of movies where the, the height speaker sounds are clear and distinct and really do add to the, to the immersiveness of the experience. And, 
And so just because you can't pinpoint specific sounds coming from the height speakers in a clip from Midway, I feel like that does not necessarily eliminate or negate everything that Atmos has to offer, if that, if that makes sense. Okay, so the second reason why my experiment failed, and this reason is on me. Well, sort of. It has to do with speaker placement. My wife correctly pointed out in the middle of the experiment, she pointed out, she's like, look, the height speakers, the physical distance from this height speaker to the side speaker is only about five or six feet. And it's true. And so to distinguish directionality of sound coming from this or this, it's not that great of a distance. And, and the fact is, I'm just limited. I had the room is what the room is and I did the best I could with with what I have and I placed the speakers as well as I possibly could given the limitations of the room I have a very low ceiling and on top of that we did two rows of seating so the second row has a platform so low ceiling with a platform and the room isn't super wide and so I mean yeah like that's just that's just the limitations but I feel like that doesn't it doesn't Min, uh, it doesn't lessen the immersive experience that I get watching movies in my theater. I still really love it here in this theater. So it's, yeah, it, it is what it is. The third reason why my test was flawed is that I didn't include a music sample. So on Apple Music specifically, there are so many spatial audio Dolby Atmos tracks uh, new songs as well as old songs that have been remastered in Dolby Atmos. And they are incredible and they are amazing. And I, and there are so many of them where it is so clear the sounds are coming from the height speakers. It, it's unmistakable. And and I I kind of want to redo the test and and include music in it, a couple songs, because I am I am reasonably confident that they would be able to pick out which one had the height speakers enabled and which one didn't. The fourth reason why my test was flawed from the start, and that was what I told my test subjects, my family. <laughs> I told them, listen to the clips and pick out which clip has sound coming from specifically the height speakers and which one doesn't. So that was that was the objective that I gave them. And that was flawed. And my daughter figured it out. So we watched four clips total. And after two clips, she figured out this doesn't work that they, they like what I'm listening for that that's not that's not what I should be listening for so for the for the remaining two clips what she listened for was which track or which clip is providing a fuller sound a more immersive sound a sound that is that is just more enveloping and and more immersive and she nailed the, the last two she was able to choose which two uh, or which clips were uh, the Atmos tracks. And so I think I think that is a better measurement. She figured it out. I, I went into it wrong, and she figured it out. So good on her. The fifth and final reason why this test bombed was because of the way I enabled and disabled the height speakers. Or rather, or rather, what I didn't do when it came to enabling and disabling them. So the way I did it is I just, from my processor, I have an Anthem AVM70. From the processor, you can just turn any speaker on or off. And so what I did was I had the four height speakers just disabled. So that meant that the processor then said, oh, these speakers are unavailable. Whatever sounds I would have sent to those height speakers, I'm just going to send to other bed layer speakers. Um, and what I should have done well, and so so in doing so, I played the same Atmos track for both. Just one had the height speakers enabled and the other didn't. What I should have done, and this came from a, a viewer, somebody left a comment. They said, what you should have done is played an Atmos track and then watched the same clip with the uh, alternative 5.1 or 7.1 track. And that is that is spot on because Atmos is more than just height speakers. It's it's the whole audio encoding. It's it's way it's the way everything is engineered from the ground up. And so to really do a fair test of Atmos, you need to compare it to other audio formats, which in this case I should have done 
like a 5.1 or a 7.1 compared to the audio. And then that combined with having my listeners listen for which sounded more immersive, which sounded more full, which just sounded better. I think that would have been a much, much better test. Thanks for watching.